What's up, everybody? Beastly Gamer here, joined by Miss Everything Random. For the people who don't know, this is Beauty and the Beast. This is a show that my wife and I started quite a while ago that we haven't had the opportunity to do for the last few months. But uh, we decided to go ahead and do it because we've been fucking around in our bedroom. We just got out of the shower and we've been having fun with my hat. So uh, why don't you tell people what's going on with this hat and we're going to continue. Uh, basically, I just saw the hat and I told him to try to throw it and get it on my head perfectly on the center. And uh, then we just started going back and forth and back and forth and I just couldn't stop. And uh, I'm winning. Five to two. Five to two. I'm already she ain't gonna. She ain't gonna win. Come on, yo. All right, so five to two. Uh, why don't you tell people what you've been playing lately and uh, whether or not you recommend them? Um, okay, well, lately, well, right now I'm playing The Witcher 3, which is an awesome game. <laughs> yes. I do recommend The Witcher 3 to everybody. Now, now tell people what you like about the game, because you're level, what, 12? Uh, I'm almost level 13. That's 12? <laughs> okay. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> let them know I'm close to <laughs> Yes! Yes! That's Damn, 6, six to 2. Um, I Damn it! I'm supposed to be the black one here. I do like the story of it. It's pretty interesting. and Yes! <laughs> And, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn it. What's the score? Seven to three? Seven to three. Um, the side stories are awesome because they're just, I mean, the side quests. They're just like their own stories. Mm -hmm. And they matter a lot, most of them. So, ah. Uh. It's looking good, girl. <laughs> yeah, this is how we get dressed in the morning. <laughs> we throw our clothes at each other. <laughs> jump in them. Okay, seven to four. And uh, the only thing I don't like about The Witcher is the controls. The controls are like Assassin's Creed controls, and I never liked those. Real now, I I'll say this. I've been playing The Witcher. I'm only like level 9, and um, I haven't played it in like the last two weeks because I've been unfortunately drawn to The Last of Us. You get stuck. And, um, but what I did play, I really enjoyed. I I'm definitely going back to it. I was supposed to play with her last night. Yesterday was her birthday. You guys know that. And I was supposed to play with her yesterday, but I ended up playing The Last of Us. Of course. Uh, what else? What other games have you played? You just beat a game. I just beat Dragon Age Inquisition. All right. Oh, that was real fun. I liked that. Well, how would you compare it so far, the, the um, overall feeling of that game versus The Witcher? Um, I'm starting to like The Witcher more. At first, I didn't. And I think that's just because of the controls. But I'm starting to like The Witcher more. Like I, what you can do in it and crafting and all that. And it didn't have that much in the Dragon Age. Oh. So. Yeah, so that's what I've been playing. We've been playing a little bit. Damn, we suck. All right, there uh, you go. Four to seven. Uh, five. Five to that's seven. Okay, five. sweet. Five, seven. You gonna be I'm a cheater. I'm a thug. I'm a thug. What's Not up? Winning. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but we played a little bit of um. What is it? Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls Online. Online. And uh, we played that. We streamed that. It was real fun. I'll we, be streaming that. We gotta, we don't, yeah, he be looking good. We got to get back into that one. Um, and today I'm going to get um, State of Decay for Xbox One. That's a zombie game. Yeah, but I've been wanting to get it, and I'm going to get it today. So I'm looking forward to playing that when I get the chance. And uh, that's been our game. It can drag you away from The Last of Us. I, I mean, well, we just got confirmation from Nolan North that The Last of Us 2 is happening. It's Exciting, I so, I mean, right now, the way I feel about it, I'm getting back into The Last of Us now because I got to get ready for part two. It's going to be a year and a half before we even have it, but I'm super excited about that. But we went to the movies recently. Ah, uh, thug life, baby. We went to the movies recently, and uh, we went to two movies. We went to um, Jurassic World. Jurassic World at um, Jurassic Porn. We went to Jurassic World at, uh, we went to AMC's uh, IMAX. IMAX 3D for both of them. Terminator. We went and saw Terminator, Terminator. Ye day before yesterday. What were your thoughts on Jurassic World? Um, I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. Yes! You be looking good. I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. Um, so that's five to nine, right? Shut up! Who's counting? I am, because I'm going to win. All right, go ahead. Um, I'm a big Jurassic Park fan. And um, Jurassic World, it wasn't as good as the first, of course. Nothing's going to beat the first. Um, but... It's, it stood up to me. I really enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good. It was better than I thought it would be. Um, 
I really oh that was you got a small ass head. If you had a big head, I would have made it. Don't that. stop the rim. Uh, I, I thought it was better. I thought it was going to be. I don't know how much I like a little the two little boys in it. I thought that little yeah. sides the side story they tried to make it real similar to the originals by having these kids in the movie. But overall, I thought it was really good, really good movie. Now another movie we just watched that's newer is the Terminator Genesis. Um, You're a big Terminator fan. Terminator, I'll be back. It's a real good movie, uh, and some of the guys on YouTube, like Chris Stuckman, didn't really recommend it. I'd have to say I recommend it, um, because it was fucking great. Yes, uh. <laughs> looking like a sunny day, girl. Um, it it, it kind of melded the stories, it mold, merged the stories of part one and part two um, into this new story. And it's kind of a whole new take on the original. Uh, when they send Kyle Reese back in time to save Sarah Kana. And uh, actually, the Terminators are... <laughs> I just hit you in the face with that. Terminator already came back in time. Um, and uh, is there, and he's been teaching her since she was nine. So the whole story took on a different, different take. I like how they did add certain aspects of the original film. Like, they did, like, shot-for-shot shot remakes of certain aspects of the original movie. Arrived. Yeah, like when Kyle first arrived, when the, when the T-1000, T-800 first arrived. They show all that stuff, and it was really, really awesome to me. I really enjoyed that. Um, yes, that counts. Yeah, it counts. All right, so you 10 to what? 10 to six. 6. You bastard. You're lucky I love you. Um, but yeah, I thought Terminator was a really, really good movie. It was a strong film. Uh, the acting was okay, I mean, I mean, but it's Terminator, you know? What are you going to get? I think Schwarzenegger did a, a very excellent job. And I was really pleased with the CG Terminator. Yeah. The uh, the the remake of the old Arnold uh, that they put in Genesis looked really good. It looked like the original. You could tell there was a little bit of CG. You could tell it was CG. But they're getting so much better at it. It's like when Terminator Salvation came out and they put Arnold on it. That's 8 to 10. Yeah. When they put Arnold on Terminator Salvation, you could tell it was like pure CG by the way he looked. And uh, this one here, it looked like they put a lot more work into it. And I think probably in the future, they'll be able to do a whole Terminator movie by with just Arnold in it. Even after Arnold passes, well, he's already passed his prime, but yeah. when he's no longer acting, I think that they'll be able to do that just based on the CG I saw in this movie. And I would recommend them both. Uh, I think Jurassic Park was probably an overall better movie. 9 to 10. What's happening, girl? I don't know. And by the way, we're like 4 feet away from each other doing this. Yeah, well, no, we're, yeah, about 4 and a half feet. He's like, yeah. She's sitting on the bed, I'm sitting on the couch. So. Oh, oh. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm, I'm fully extending my arm now. Oh, oh, damn it. But uh, which one did you like the most? Um, well, I'm a bigger Jurassic Park fan than Terminator. Because her dad is I a grew, huge. I grew up with Jurassic Park, not Terminator. Yeah. So, uh, Jurassic Park was... But the Terminator was real awesome to see all that stuff. Um, well, we came and back home and, and immediately watched part one. And two. And then we watched part two, and I'm, I gotta really make myself watch part three. And I'm not gonna watch Salvation. But um, we watched... I got part two. Oh! Oh, nigga! <laughs> yeah, I got it. Ten to ten. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think that uh, Terminator was really good. I think Jurassic Park was really good. All right, so 10 to 10, and this is real time. This is thug shit. Yeah, where's my Excalibur sword? I'm going to cut you in it. Um, so what are you going to be playing in the future? What are you looking forward to playing? Um, after I, uh, uh, <laughs> damn. After I heard um, Greg and Colin talk about No Man's Sky, that seems like it's going to be a little more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the division still. Yeah. And the new destiny. Okay. All right. Well, we we gotta play more Prison of Elders. I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. We just got into that. I think No Man's Sky is going to be the shit. And just so you guys know, my wife has a secret crush on Colin Moriarty. She really likes him, and uh, we don't look anything alike. So I'm wondering which one she really likes the most. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, Destiny uh, is going to be good. The uh, Taken King. I'm, I'm looking forward to... Well, I think after... Ooh, yes, ooh, let's perfect. see how it fits. This is backwards as shit. <laughs> uh, I think No Man's Sky will be fun. But the game that, that they announced at E3 that I'm probably the most excited for other than Final Fantasy is um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh yeah, totally forget about that That's one. That's the one for me. It looks so good. But even though I, I did tie you... Oh, Uncharted 4. 
I'm a big Uncharted fan. I, how could I forget that one? Well, Uncharted 4 is great, but the, the news that the, uh, that, uh, uh, not Uncharted, that The Last of Us 2 is being made, that outshine Uncharted for me. Yeah, because you're a Last of Us fan. I like The Last of Us 2. I mean, I would, I'll definitely play Last of Us 2. Um, for sure, but I'm just, I've played every, yeah. Here she goes again. I've played every, um, Uncharted game, and I'll play every one that comes out. I just, I love that series. Mm, okay. Well, look, guys, K1! What she does it, and a lot of things she won in this new game. It's called the Beastly Hat Toss. You guys give a thumbs up to this content. I hope you guys like us just being ourselves. Play this game with somebody and tell us who wins. Yeah, play with your play with your girl. Play with your dude. Let us know who won. It's something really fun to do. Uh, just get a nice little hat, toss it back and forth. Thank you guys for all the love and support and the thumbs up. And uh, we really do appreciate all of it. Be sure to check out Kate's YouTube channel. Um, this everything random. I'll drop a link in the description. Got to be more active on it. She's a mother and a, a and a college student, so it's, it's more difficult for it, for for her than it is for me. Yeah, and a teacher, so it's 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 pretty strenuous. But thank you all so much. We love you guys. Thank you. The community is so awesome. Uh, congratulations to False Prophet for uh, oh, yeah for winning yesterday. False Prophet, F False Prophet won a uh, twenty-five dollar iTunes gift card. He still hasn't contacted me yet. I, I, I sent him a message, so looking forward to that. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.